Hi, my name is Ken Colby. I'm the author of Laser Photo Wizard. Today I want to talk about an exciting new feature we've added called 3D Gray. Now, many laser systems allow you to do 3D um, processing, and the way they do it is they take the intensity of a depth map and um, create a 3D image. So where it's deep, it's black. Where it's not deep, it's white and grays are somewhere in between. The problem with this technique is it's very difficult to come up with the depth maps. So 3D gray is kind of halfway between uh, a 2D image and a 3D image. And what it does is it creates a transparent background which is translated to black, and but the rest of the image is done in uh, a gray that sits kind of on top of what would be considered like a pedestal. And as you can see by some of this output, you get what looks like an almost 3D picture. Um, and so basically uh, the way it works is you create a, uh, a photo that has a transparent background loaded into the laser photo wizard and then you can um, select how gray you want it to be, which is how much further engraving you want to do from the background. Now if it was white, it would sit all the way on top of the background. So for example, in the eagle here, it's black and white, and you can see it's just a little bit off the background. Here, this, this ring and, and the cross were fully white, so they're all the way off the background. And here, uh, beautiful Vienna was just a little off the background. So it's a little hard to show you here in this 2D images, but um, it's pretty. The the output looks pretty uh, stunning. So how do we do this? Well, the first thing we need is we need a um, an image that has a transparent background. And there's two ways to do that. You can use Photoshop, which I'll demonstrate in a minute, or you can use Green Screen Wizard, which is a lot easier. So I'm going to stop this video and let's take a look at Photoshop. So let's start with Photoshop. So we load a picture and it doesn't have to have a green background in Photoshop, but it does need to be a green background in Green Screen Wizard. So the first thing I do, and there might be better ways to do this if you're a Photoshop expert, is I just, I just go in and I duplicate the layer. Okay. And then I turn off that, the, the bottom layer, go to my little eraser. I guess we need a little bigger, even bigger. Okay, and I start to erase it. We get this sort of checkerboard thing. Okay, and then we go through the whole, you know, carefully um, using the, the uh, Photoshop tool set to erase. And I'm not going to take a lot of time with this, but the idea is <clears throat> that you would erase that background to get this checkerboard like look and wherever that checkerboard is the transparent part that's going to be completely black in the in the final output and so there will be the deepest engraving because we're going to uh, you know, full black is the deepest engraving these other colors are going to be dithered and then translated to a gray but for now I'm just trying to show you how to get the make the PNG files so if you go to File, uh, Save, and you'll see the first choice is to save it as a PSD file. You don't want that. You want a PNG file. Okay? And then you name it whatever you want and save it. So that's one way to make a PNG file. An easier way to create a PNG file is to start with a photo that has a green background and use our other product, Green Screen Wizard. So as shown here, as soon as you turn on Green Screen Processing, it'll remove all the green and replace it with a background. In this particular case, that's not what we want. We want a transparent output. So we click the Output Transparency and we get the checkerboard directly. Now you may have to do some adjustments and learn Green Screen Wizard a little bit better to get just to come out perfectly, um, but it's a very straightforward process. You just click save and it will save as a PNG file. Okay, now that we have our Angel PNG file, 
which was the hard part. Let's load that into Laser Photo Wizard. Plant it here. There we go. Okay. So normally, the uh, transparent part of the image will, uh, <coughs> excuse me, show up as white in the normal circumstances. Now let's see what happens when we click 3D gray. In order for this to work, you have to have, um, you know, one of the dithering patterns set. So now this is dithered uh, 3D gray. So you can see that this is gray and this is black. So this is going to engrave higher up off the page than, than the black. Okay. Now you can raise this. So if we go to 200, say, you see that it's really gray. I find that something between 100 and um, 80 is a good, a good um, setting. So you can experiment on your own, um, but that's basically kind of how it works. So really, we could engrave it right now, but just to make this more interesting, let's add a little text. So we go to Effects, we add text. Because I'm a pathetic typist, I've saved the text here. So we'll do that, and then we'll go, we'll make it Arial Black, and let's center the text. Now, as you can see, if we do say OK here, we get black text on a black background. Well, we don't want that. So we edit it, and we change it to white. The white text is going to show up a lot better. And there we go. And that's really all there is to do it to do. So white text is going to not engrave at all. The black of course is going to cut cut deep into the wood depending on your settings. Um, and the gray is going to go kind of halfway. And that's basically how you do 3D gray. Now the only other thing you might want to consider is to cut it out when it's done. And I like to use the square frame with the rounded edges. And you'll see a little red line here. So now we're ready to engrave. And we just get out of here. We go home. We hit print. And my particular driver allows me to have 3D 500 set up. We say OK. And that's basically it. So now it'll, it'll go ahead and engrave. I'm not going to engrave it right now. Um, so that's how you do 3D gray. And in a minute, I'll show you a picture of the final output that was done actually from a session before. OK, well, I hope you like 3D gray and um, you'll give it a shot. So, OK, so this is what the final output would look like. It has sort of a 3D look. Um, you can see the text is, comes off the background and it's engraved sort of on the pedestal of where the uh, PNG file had a transparent background. So you can experiment with this stuff and uh, hopefully you can make some really great uh, output. Thanks for watching and again it's Laser Photo Wizard at laserphotowizard.com. Thanks for watching.